Well, this is the beginning of my uh, adventure here in the uh, the Twin Lakes recreational area in the, the Hoosier National Forest. Just finished setting up my uh, my tarp and my um, my tent, and now there's a little pitter patter of snow coming down. It's supposed to get down, I think, to like 26 degrees tonight. Light snow, maybe accumulating an inch or so. So, but it's supposed to warm up to the 40 degrees tomorrow, so it shouldn't be too bad. It'll snow and then melt. Got a nice, uh, I'm a camp right here along a uh, an abandoned logging road, so it gave me a nice little level spot to set up the tent. And then I've got uh, not just a little walk down to a little babbling creek, which I'll get a picture of after the uh, the little little snowstorm, <laughs> the little bit of snow ends here. But uh, yes, yeah, the beginning of my adventure. I'm gonna be here for uh, two days. Two nights, I guess, uh, I guess three days, I suppose you could say, coming here Friday, leaving on Sunday, have a business trip, I have a business meeting on Monday, then I finally go home. So I thought I'd take advantage of the situation and uh, do a little uh, little weekend trip. I've always wanted to check out this area, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so far, so good. The trail was awful. I couldn't find the freaking trail, so that was exciting. So I ended up uh, just bushwhacking all the way to here, and then I um, stumbled upon this abandoned logging road, which happens to luckily be on my map, on my GPS, so I can I can use that to get back to the main road and hike out here on uh, Sunday without too much difficulty. But the main the main goal of this trip is to try to get to uh, what I'm going to call Indian Lake Bay at the northwest corner of the lake. There's this cool looking little bay you can see in satellite photos and on maps. And I was thinking it, was an area, it might be an area I might want to try a canoe camping or a kayak camping trip to someday in the future. But anyway, I'm just set up here and I'm just uh, just relaxing. It was a long, it was a couple mile bushwhack to get to here. And I'm really just kind of uh, chilling out because I'm tired. I'm going to have a little bit of, uh, maybe have a little bit of uh, dinner here in a little bit. Get some water. This trip is exciting. This is going to be a trip where I'm going to be uh, straining my water, and all water is going to be boiled. I didn't bring a filter because it's going to get below freezing, so we're going to go back to the strain and boil option for water. The water out of the creek looks really clean, so it shouldn't be any problem. Of course, I'm going to boil it before I drink it. I I would never uh, even, out of a nice, clean-looking creek, I'd never just drink the water. I really don't want to get any nasty little diseases. Also, this is a maiden voyage for this tent. You can see over in the distance, this is a new tent I picked up. It's a four-season tent. Uh, three point, it's like a three point two pounds, I think, or three point three pounds. Um, it's a nylon tent. I really, really like my my Fairview one, and that will probably become my tent that I use, maybe for um, when I'm when I'm doing uh, when I'm pulling a sled. But I just needed something lighter when I'm backpacking, because I just as I get older, I just weight becomes just more and more an issue for my. Uh, for me to backpack and I want to keep backpacking for a few more years so I really got to be careful on you know, how much weight I put in my pack all right well I'll, I'll, I'll review this tent a little later on but uh gonna sit here and just kind of enjoy the uh, pitter patter of the snow have something to drink and uh oh, hell I might even have a snack what the hell it was a good long hard hike hide hike hard hike in here all right see you guys in the trail and I'll take a lot more videos for this adventure Bye-bye.